Oh, it's really nice. Oh, it's gonna be a fun week of we could walk for like my Pinterest boards. My I quite like that one. The quality of Hollister is insane. I've got two pairs of pajamas. Package, you can't happen. I just come out of the house and I was like, yeah! So, as you can see on my bathroom. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a vlog. It is currently Wednesday morning for me. I'm so excited because we've got such a fun week ahead planned. And honestly, just like the next foreseeable future is looking so fun. So I hope you are well currently getting ready to leave the house i've just washed and dried my hair using the ghd duet styler and then i've just put the front pieces up in a roller but low-key they're so long that it's it's hard to get any like real bouncy bounce from it but it's fine we're just doing we're just trying to do what we can but i'm gonna have a haircut i also fake tanned last night and i've also been loving the willy well, hence the face to body colour um different so i've actually gone back to using walida under the makeup occasionally i find it's just such a good like base it's super tacky and i, I just love it i know some people hate it and ever do you girls ever get in that zone where you just love your makeup well that's me currently i've just been i don't know in a good routine with it like every product that i've been using i'm like yep love you love that looks so nice i'm trying to transition a little bit more into like a lighter base because i've obviously we're traveling soon and i'm not gonna want like heavy makeup so i wanted to sort of secure a good like light makeup situation and i feel like i have so on the agenda today i'm gonna go and pick Mia up shortly and we're gonna head over to birmingham because i go to australia in 10 days so i haven't got that much really i haven't really like been buying anything new i don't want to buy loads because i do feel like it's going to be a very much like trip that i spend in bikinis in swimsuits i got a few little bits from the zara sale a couple weeks ago but i haven't really got anything i've also got a um, asos order on its way i ordered just some little cute like sundresses so like i don't want a like a major i don't want a lot but i could just do with just like having a braise i want to go into hollister because it's meant to be really good for holiday clothes and i thought if i can get like a little pair of you know just like everyday like pale not pat you know like just like an everyday like ditzy floral short or something like very brandy melville vibes that's what i'm hoping to find in hollister maybe some swimwear just i'm finding it really hard to actually find swimsuits and i'm normally a bikini girl and i probably will wear a lot of bikinis but i think you know when you're not necessarily like at the beach but it's going to be too hot to wear like clothes i feel like a swimsuit with like shorts is a really nice look so i want to have a little look at some swimsuits so hopefully somewhere's got some in because i'm finding it really hard online to find any of course my beauty blender is literally dry she'll just go and wet it honestly doing that such an achievement i feel like that is true discipline so we've got a lot going on at the house right now lots of house updates we're hoping to have pretty much all the like brickwork finished by probably like tomorrow we did a walkthrough of the house last night to decide where we want all the electrics so we're having a rewire on the weekend um we're knocking the chimney breast out the roof's being repaired next week so it's very go 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 in terms of the house so i'm excited to show you the updates of that as they roll I'm also going to look at bathrooms tomorrow, which I'm really excited for because I haven't actually been to really look for bathrooms. I had a quick look in like B&Q and Wixies, but they don't have the most choice. I feel like the showrooms actually, like the mainstream suppliers are actually really poor. Like they don't have a lot. And I feel like what they do have is all very like safe. I guess it's because maybe a lot of people just opt for like what's trendy at the time or like just plain things. I don't know. But whenever I've gone... There's never really much there, but I'm going to go bathroom shopping with my nan and granddad because they know like quite a good place to look for tiles. So that's tomorrow, which I'm really excited for. Obviously, we've got to record a podcast this week. So very exciting. Me and Mia are just going to have a little nice girly afternoon in Birmingham today. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to say hello. Good morning. I feel like my intentions for this week, I had a really good workout yesterday and it gave me that like feel back so i want to make sure i'm going to the gym 
and just like not neglect myself i feel like i've been so hyper focused on the house and like we're having such light nights that the gym's just like oh whatever like it's not that important but it actually makes me feel so good like when i'm working out it makes me feel like so much more like just sort of like at peace so i need to make more of an effort this week to keep going to the gym and then next week and then i also need to get all my appointments booked for australia so we, we need a nail appointment a pedi appointment i've booked an lvl for monday so i'm gonna have my lashes lifted because i haven't had that done for a while and i thought it would be nice for like the no makeup days and then we've also got a haircut that I need to book which I could probably do with booking so I don't know how fast they like book up but I mean it's lastminute.com I need to do our visas like tell me if you would be stressed I don't know we literally go next Saturday and there's all this to do I need to buy a suitcase I need to go to B&M I quite liked that like silver like rom what's it called rom you know the silver ones well they've got dupes of that and i did see it in mine and i haven't seen one that i like anymore i know they do sell dupes on amazon but i feel like if i can just pick it up from b&m that'll be so much easier so it's going to be a busy week so buckle up get excited healthy meals to be caught gym workouts to be done houses to be renovated clothes to be brought <laughs> it's just going to be a fun week of like preparing before we leave the country for six weeks five weeks so yeah that is so exciting i'm just going to go in with a little bit of refi blush and then that's literally like my base done and then i'm just going to spray a little bit of setting spray and i think i might just leave it with um creams today and not set my face i love this it's the refi blush in malaya oh also i don't know why my hands are so much more orange i'm normally quite good at self tanning but they look really orange i don't know how orange they look on camera i mean did i fail I did my tan so late last night. I was so like tempted to not, but I was like, come on, because then it's just done for the week. I literally did it half asleep. It took me like five minutes. I was just doing it so fast. Ollie was literally asleep and I was like, two minutes and I'll turn the light off. So that's fun. Okay, and that's literally the base done. I'm just gonna spray it with, it's on the floor. Ciate Everyday Vaco. This is really nice. It smells like coconut. Which I don't really tend to go for. But you know what it really reminds me of? Like old school fake tan wipes. If you're an OG fake tanner, you'll understand like fake tan in a bottle was not really heard of. It was wipes and you used to have to wipe your body and it like somehow transfer onto you. It was so weird. But obviously you would end up with the orangest hands because if it's wiping onto one side, it's going to wipe onto the other that was a time like when i say like i've been fake tanning since i was a kid like it's probably since i was about 11 years old going to wilco's with me and we'd buy the fake tan wipes and we'd sneak them upstairs and my mum would be like oh my god girl you look like states like nothing has changed <laughs> also if you find that mascara looks a little bit harsh on you especially if you've got like quite fair coloring then try a brown mascara it's just ever so slightly less bold like it's just a little bit more subtle and this one's really good by technique it's just the mega lash and it's super affordable as well but it just looks like just slightly more subtle on my face it's less like which i really like okay and then i'm just gonna grab a little eyeshadow brush and i'm just gonna take the nude out of this palette and just like rub it um just blend it into my lash line to one get the mascara out and two i find if i just set my eyes with powder they're not going to crease throughout the day but the rest of my face should be okay okay now lip liner i think this is peachy keen And then I'm just going to add a little bit of this lip oil by Ciate. It's just a watermelon one. And honestly, it just tastes so good. It hasn't got much of a colour, but. And that is the makeup done. So, eighth of the day. I don't really know what to wear. It's quite cold outside. It is. Oh, also, I've been trying to update my iPad this morning. 
it is 20 past 11 and it's four degrees but it feels really cold it feels more like two degrees um oh it's updated so i want to get back into my ipad era i'm gonna have to like set it up as if it's almost like a new ipad i think okay right we'll get on to that but yeah outfit i don't really know um what should we put on what should we put on i didn't know whether i would be able to even update this ipad but i actually only got it in 2018 i thought i got it in more like 2015 so i've updated it i've put this as my home screen i've just put my vision as my lock screen even as my home screen and then i no, my lock screen and then on my home screen i just found a little cute quote off pinterest but i want to make this really functional i want to add all the widgets with like the calendar and i'm thinking my, i might get like the good notes app on here and i want to try and be a little bit more oh it looks so much better already here it looks so much better with the little widget so i think i might spend a little bit of time and just make it like on my phone you know how like you've got the little like widgets with quotes on and like the weather i want to make it really functional like that and make it have like all the apps on that i want so i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna order myself a new case try and, if i can't find my pen then i'm gonna order myself a new pen and i feel like it'll just be handy so i'm gonna try and get back into my ipad girl era because i feel like they're so underrated and it's better than like having to pull my mac, mac i feel like it's so much better than having to pull my macbook around but then it's better than what you can do on your iphone so yeah i'm gonna spend a little bit of time this week just making that a bit more you know usable and now let's pick a fit so i don't really know what i want to wear today I might put this set on from PLT because it's just honestly so comfortable. It's the flares that have gone quite viral and it's in this like talk. I want to get another set of this because I, I'd quite like, you know, what? I'd like it like a baby pink to travel into Australia, but even like a baby blue would be cute. But I want like a bright colour. I think I might wear this and then just throw on some Uggs and like a nice jacket or something. So let me throw this and put my jewellery on and then I will show you the finished look. Okay, obviously I won it on the outfit, but I'll show you in a minute. The only reason was the top has just got deodorant like all over it and I didn't realise until it was on and it's annoying because I struggled so hard to get it on over the roller and then I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh right. And I felt like there's just too much on it to even like warrant wash it, like wiping it needs needs a wash. So Oh that perfume's gone right in the wrong <laughs> That doesn't smell that nice today. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Uh, no, that needs to be loose. Now, honestly, the oh, this is why I don't even bother taking this off because it takes me so long to remember where. I think it's that one. Is that even, I think that might even be the same. I don't even know. Right, that was Carolina Herrera Good Girl. I'm just going to put in these little hoops from Boohoo. They're just like a chunky gold. I also could do with getting from Primark today. Do you know just some like everyday hoops to take with me? Because I've only got a few pairs and I feel like Primark are the best place to go for just, you know, like cheap statement earrings. So I think I might grab a few pairs from there today. Okay, right. Obviously, excuse the roll. I'm just going to keep it in. This is the fit. So this is Primark. This is Zara. I might just do this one up too. I wear this cardigan probably too much, but what are you going to do? So then I've got on with these striped flares from boohoo little black and white moment and then i think i might add my uggs and then just like a brain bag of some sort so i'm just going to quickly let the dogs out sort them out frankie's not very well but my little brother's off today so she'll be fine i'm just going to sort the dogs out let them out and everything make sure they've got water and then i'm going to go and pick me up these can be turned off now i thought it smelled of heat in here that's why <laughs> yeah they're still hot and on so let's quickly do these bits oh my god also the gray hair it's coming through so oh my god that one's so long oh my god there's so much of it i can't and they're so hard to pull out so much harder than other hair to pull out it's like they're so obsessed with staining my head look like i've just pulled out two hairs and the gray hair just stays in my head come on one Oh, there we go. Look how long that is. 
it's so bad. When I was partitioning my hair to use the GHT, honestly, here, it's so grey. I just don't know what to say. There doesn't seem to even be any like natural remedies. I was trying to find like a vitamin I could take, but I think I just have to accept that I'm getting old. <sighs> right, let me finish getting ready and then I'll see you guys in a bit. It feels too cold for no coat. Did I have a coat that went with the outfit? Not really, so are we just gonna be cold? Yes. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, I've got a long sleeve top on. I feel like when you're shopping, it's really only in between the shops that you get overly cold anyway. But it'll be all right, don't worry. Let's not stress. Um, okay, right, let me just put some hand sanitizer on because I was just... I was just... I've just done my little brother some lunch. Okay, perfect. Also, I got this from Boots and it's so nice. I feel like this is my new scent, like coconut and almond. Almond is my favourite, but it, they are right. It does go really nice with coconut. So nice. Smells unreal. I feel like I wish almond was more of an overpowering scent because I do feel like almond is more of the low key friend, and then coconuts, you know, the the out, um, outspoken friend, and it does kind of take over, but it's all right. So let's ignore the roller. We're gonna go and get Mia. I think I'm gonna ask her to drive because my car is so messy from the tip, and it's quite dusty in here, and it's just not nice. Like it doesn't smell the best, but I'm very reluctant to go and get it cleaned until all the tip runs are done which we're gonna have more tip runs this week so that i just thought you know what there's just really no point so yeah i'm gonna say to mia do you mind driving take one for the team because it's just not nice to be in here to be honest like the back and like, if we buy any clothes and they've got to go in all the dust like it's just not it's just not fun so yeah i'll see you guys at mia's and or on the way whatever and then we'll have a nice little shopping afternoon together which i love oh it's really nice Oh yeah. Guys, we've come to Laura Mercer because as you know, I love this recently. And and how much they are? Oh, that it's, smells it's, incredible. It's quite expensive for what it is, but they've got like a whole range. They've it, got this one. They have this one and look fantastic. Oh, I've not smelled well. this one before. Neroli de Sud, have you? No. Spray it in the cat and cat. It's horrible. I'm risk but not willing to say. Oh, it's vile. Thank God it? I did that. Oh, it's like... It smells like flowers. But if in you like want to know, way. Joe did be almond coconut. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I would be out al almond coconut. And I would coconut. be vanilla. And yeah, me would Vanilla's be amber nice, vanilla. Vanilla's nice, isn't it? Really nice. Such a nice little range. And it does say new. I don't know. Is it new though? I don't know. Well, they, but they have sets market. of them on. Look fantastic where you can get. Because then they've got okay. this look. Bath and body oil. Oh, but the vanilla would be incredible. The whole range would be nice with a little hand cream to go. They look cute as well. The they packaging do. is lovely. This is it. They're adjustable straps. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Little crochet. I've picked this. Oh, I love a little skirt like this. We'll I feel like this. Oh, they feel so soft. Oh, wow, they do. They feel incredible. As <laughs> we're in Holland's time, I'm just going to try these bits on for you. This means it's right the end. It's just little yeah. things that I'm going to need, so I'll give you a haul when we get back, but we're going to go into Zara. But last time we come in, it was the sale, and it wasn't actually that bad, but... No, it, uh, but I don't know I hope it's gone. Because no, the shops have been shit, guys. They've like, if you really weren't looking bad. for Australia, we would come be empty-handed. Empty -handed. Like, you know, I've not, not even been tempted one. No, no, no. No awful. jumpers, no jackets, not like, even any like clothes. Shit. It's boring. It's just boring Primark stuff. was so boring. So we're going to go into Zara, so I'll show you if there's anything cute, and then we're going to get... this movie from Leon? Where's Leon in the, that train station? It's in the train station, yeah. Ah, we're going to get a match. Yes, from. we're going to get a match from Joe and the Jeep. You've got to have one, haven't you, to drive oh, home with? Sorry, if you drove all this way. Yeah, and not come home. Yeah, like empty handed. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cute. I just don't know if we're a bit. Not nice. Is it? I wouldn't want that on Nike. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> it's £25. I like it, but I feel like it would have been nice in October and November. Get in them, guys. Two large ice matches, please, with vanilla. 
Here we go. Brilliant. Cheers. Thank you. Lisa needs a mixy moo. Vanilla. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Living the good mm -mm. life there. Thank you, Joe. Cheers for that. Here we go. It is a little bit later. I just got back from shopping. I literally just ran to the house. Um, I said I'll, I'd give out like half an hour just sweeping up because the house was such a mess. But it's one of those situations where we can't really make it look any better. But I just like sweeped the dust into a pile. Ollie's there currently with one of his friends because they're doing something to do with the boiler. But I felt like a little bit of a like like third wheel spare part. I need to give you a haul of everything I got today. I got stuff from Primark and from Billy Hicks. So i'll give you the haul of that but i'm just about to go home i'm going to make ollie's lunch make ollie's breakfast so i keep getting out of focus and then i'm gonna go and see my mom because if you guys watched last week's vlog then she had surgery and sorry it's so dark in here she had spinal surgery um, and i didn't see her yesterday but I'm gonna go and pop round and see if half an hour and then I'm gonna meet Ollie back at his house and we are getting Giros's cooked by up for us by his brother. So I'm buzzing about that, which means I have to do dinner tonight. And then honestly, it'll just be a little bit of a chilled night and then tomorrow we've got a fun day planned. So yeah, we wanna work out, but I got some really cute things from Primark and Giddy Hicks, Giddy Hicks, I don't really know how to pronounce it. So I'll give you the whole of that, but I just wanted to say that that is the update. I also, one of you guys give me a really good idea of how to show you the things that I wanna do to the house, to do like a Pinterest like walkthrough. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time like collating everything together and then I'll just like show you guys my vision for each room. I'll go through my Pinterest boards and stuff. So I thought that'd be fun because it's quite hard to like explain whereas if you can visually see so we'll do that at some point this week but yeah i'm just going to pop home and then get on with the rest of the evening good evening guys i've eaten dinner and i've just took my makeup off feeling nicely clean i thought we'd just have a catch up about the day the shops honestly other than like i'll give you a haul tomorrow just because i want to actually show you like the pieces properly and i kind of try them on and talk to you about them but i mean other than the little few bits that i got in gilly hit i mean to be fair, you did see what I tried on. Shall I give you a haul now? So, from Gilly Hicks, I got the Ra Ra skirt because I thought it was really cute. Got it in a size small and this was £25, which I thought was actually really good. It's because the quality of Hollister stuff, it's not actually, nothing was from Gilly Hicks, actually it was all from Hollister. But I feel like the quality of Hollister is insane. So, it's like this, it feels really thick and it's actually got shorts on, which look really ugly, but it's actually like really practical because obviously if it's windy on the beach or whatever. And I feel like I'll wear this so much, whether it's chucked over bikinis, like in the daytime or of an evening time. And then, and then I also got this jumper. I got this in a size extra small and this was £39. A little bit pricey, but I feel like it's probably comparative to like Zara. But it's a white jumper and it's quite open. You can see, like, and open it, and it's got these really gorgeous pastel colours. So it's got peach, it's got peach, mint, blue, and like a hot pink, and then a dark green, and then a blue, and then it like goes in a little rainbow. But I thought this would be really cute again, like thrown over bikinis. Although it's a knit, like it's quite a light knit, it gives a very like Australian girl for like chucked on with like a bikini at sunset on the beach. Wait till we see the Instagram photo. So that's what I got from Hollister. It's been a hot minute since I brought anything from Hollister. Then I got quite a lot from Primark as well. So. So this is everything that I got from Primark. I just got a lot of like accessories and things to be fair. So I got this. So I got this big claw clip. I've had this before, but it did snap, but it lasted me quite a long time. It was £2.50. It's just like a nude colour. Then I got these two headbands. These were £2.50 as well. And it's like a sage green and then a purple. I thought these would just be quite nice for like in the daytimes. I feel like it's just nice to have a lot of accessories on holiday. Then I've got two pairs of pyjamas these came so these came separately so these come separately this was in an extra small and it was um it was six pound it was just a little bralette but i really love the ditzy floral it was giving me very like brandy melville vibes and it's got like a little flower and stuff and the lace trim i thought was really cute then i got these shorts these were again oh no these were eight pound and i got these in an extra small because i didn't have a tie waist or like a drawstring so i thought better to sort of size down on those and then I also got these pyjamas. So I feel like having new pyjamas on holiday is always really nice. This set was £8 and it's just a blue and white striped. These are really soft though. And I really like these, you know, just like chucking on to get ready. But they feel really soft. Like they've upped the quality of those a lot. And I love the little bows and things. I feel like it's very girly. Then I got these two pairs. I got these two packs of earrings. 
I got these sort of like Bottega dupes ish. These were again £2.50. Little gold hoop. I feel like just a nice everyday. I've seen some stunning ones on ASOS. They're like little bows, gold bows. I think I'm going to get those for the wedding that I've got. And then I got this pack of three, six, nine, twelve. 15 for three pound it says 15 on the thing of course three pound 50 but i love these because i've got like a lot of different piercings like i've got my helix my anti helix thirds seconds first and tragus i like these little earrings because you can just like do your ear up differently so it's just like a pack of 15 loads of different ones but i like that there was three hoops normally they're all just little i don't really like this row the bottom row but i feel like these are really cute like i love the heart love that the thunder bar i feel like they're really cute so i got those and then I got this. I got this in an extra small. This was £11. This also was in like a nude colour. But I really love green. And I thought it looked pretty. With some like denim shorts or white linen trousers. But it's like a thick knit. And I also feel like this could just actually be styled up really nice. With a pair of like light blue jeans. And some heels and a little cream bag. I feel like you could wear this a lot. So I got this. I thought it was good for £11. And it like ties at the sides. But then like equally it could just be thrown over a bikini. So all of that from Primark. <laughs> came to £44 which I thought was really good like three two pairs of pyjamas the top and then a few accessories so that's everything that I got from Primark everything I got from Hollister the Hollister bag come to I feel like more like 70 64 Hollister is expensive but I feel like they're pieces that I'll keep forever so yeah I'm going to do my skincare and then I'm going to go to bed thank you in my J mug um, in the, or in the Lian mug in the Lian mug <laughs> Thank you. Do you want a haul of my stuff that I got? Boyfriend writes my Primark haul. Go on then. Okay, first thing. Little nice. tie, but side boob action. Then I just got some pyjamas. I got these pyjamas. This is all for Australia. And then I just got some little accessories. And then from Hollister I got this. Is Hollister going again there? Yeah, it's expensive though, but I feel like I'll keep something like this for ages, won't I? Um, you know, just with a bikini. Is wearing Hollister? Yeah, yeah, Hollister's quite cool. Is it? Yeah, recently Hollister's really quite cool because they've got another brand called, look, Gilly Hicks. Mm. And they've got quite a lot. I've tried on a really nice bikini, but it didn't fit me. And then I've got this little skirt. morning guys happy thursday we've had a little bit of a slow morning over here i got up i've done my morning journaling i love to just spend like five ten minutes however long it is in the morning just to really say my gratitude and just start that off on like the right foot so i did my journaling so i did show you let me just i'll share it in case any of you guys want some inspiration so my prompts for the day was <laughs> a lot my prompts of the day were, I am grateful for my daily intentions, my goals for this week and the affirmation of the day. I just kept it very like simple today. So three things that I'm grateful for, my health, my hard working boyfriend, because Ollie's working so hard guys, like he's up at five, he's working on site all day and then he's going straight from work to the house and like he's just working so hard for us and I'm so grateful for that. And then also just a supportive family. I got a really lovely comment um, saying, you know, you can really tell you've got such good people around you that like want the best for you. And I was like, no, it's so true. Like we really, really, really do. And then my daily intentions to be productive, to show my gratitude and to be present. I feel like those are always three just really nice, like every day intentions. And then my goals for this week are to work out three times. And I just got a little follower goal to hit which I won't share, but and follower goals, I don't quite know how I feel about them <clears throat> because <clears throat> I feel like it's all right as long as you don't put too much pressure on them. But I did see someone say, like a follower goal, you are putting your like happiness and achievement on someone else's action, like someone else is having to follow you to achieve it. So they were like, you can't really do a goal on someone else's like doing it almost has to be like my goal is to post good content or like quality content that attracts people to follow me and then that's actually within your control and then as long as you've actually done that then you're like well it's all i could have done so you know it is what it is whether i hit it or not the follower goal like at least i've done the content or whatever it is so yeah and then 
affirmation of the day. I just kept it very simple. I'm successful in everything that I do. My hands are so dark. That never really happened to me. I think it's because I did my tan so late and I didn't really moisturise my hands. I just went straight in. And cause I, especially because I don't have any tan on my face. It looks crazy. So also in other news, she's back in her reading era. She's back in the reading game. So like I said, I want to get back on my iPad. I haven't really done much to it yet. All I've done is literally make a cute home screen, personalise this, personalise this. But I want to download like the widget apps and do that. So I downloaded Kindle and I downloaded A Court of Thorn and Roses. So I got the five book bundle. I think it was only like £22. I think if you buy the physical books, it's about 37 on Amazon. But I thought I might as well buy them all. And I've bought the Kindle version because I feel like this will be so much better for when I go to Australia. I can take my iPad with me. And I've never read a book on the iPad before, but this is actually just how it looks. And then like obviously it just swipes across it's really good and it also says like how many minutes you've got left in the chapter which i thought was nice it sort of like learns your reading oh you can do it landscape too that's nice it sort of learns your reading i guess well, that's weird though because you don't get as many words i wonder if you get more the last word on that was a line out a load moan I think you, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and read it. So I'll let you guys know how I get on. I personally do really like fantasy books. Like I love the Hunger Games um, books. Like they were literally one of my favourite book series I've ever read. And I do like crying, but I find it quite hard to stay like attached to crying. I always sort of like go in and out. So I feel like I will like it. Like I've read fantasy before. So I'm hoping that I really enjoy this. So I'll keep you guys updated. I've literally only read two chapters this morning, but... I want to get like obsessed with it like Mia is so that when I'm on the flight to Australia I can like binge read it because she was like get obsessed with it first because I think from what I've heard you don't get like obsessed straight away you sort of have to read a, read a little bit more into it so I'm gonna do that so that you know I'm actually obsessed when it comes to being on the plane but I'm just doing my skincare we've got a fun day planned today actually I think it's a horrible day in itself like it's grey it's gloomy it's raining like tipping it down so it's not a nice actual day but we've got a fun day planned i'm gonna go to look at bathrooms with my nan and granddad just to this tile shop just to get some inspiration because they went when they got their bathroom done and i need to basically decide where i want the bathroom like i don't need to actually buy the bathroom or like have the bathroom planned but i need to have the layout like planned so that it can be plumbed while we're away so i thought well, i'm going to get some but i know roughly the layout but it's not even empty yet like the bathroom's still actually in the house so we need to rip the bathroom out this week and then like fully decide but i've got like a vision so i'll show you that we were all supposed to do like a bit of garden planning because my nan and granddad are going to do the garden for us but honestly with the weather i don't know if i we will, but he, my granddad might be can just run out and just get some measurements and things. Um, okay, products that I just used. The Bioma Balancing Face Mist. The Kylie Skin Eye Cream. I got this from Duty Free and it's really good. I got it back in July and it's only just running out. So I'll probably get another one for Australia because I feel like I really liked it for that like no makeup beach look. Then I went in with the Laneige Water Bank Hyaluronic Serum. It's like, I love this. And then paired it with the Laneige water bank moisturiser. And then just put some cuticle oil on, which I've been trying to do. And this is one that my nail, and this is one that my nail techs actually come out with. Her brand's called Juicicles and it's really good and they smell insane. So we love that. Skincare is done. I think I'm going to try and, I don't know, I need so much for, I need so much for. Australia, to be honest i also need to go and get a suitcase we might go and do that today but this morning i want to go to the gym and do some cardio i want to then so i think the agenda of the day is going to be gym home get ready not get ready but freshen up to go and see my nan and granddad and then i'm going to have a, a afternoon and evening at the house with all because we've got to rip the kitchen no rip the bathroom out knock the kitchen walls off so it's all stuff that i can actually do because for the past few days i haven't really been able to do anything so i've just been like watching like 
that's fun so yeah that's fun and um, so that's probably going to be the agenda of the day i'm thinking gym and then see my nan and granddad go to the tile shop take them to my house and then i'll probably meet all there and then have like the afternoon and evening doing that with him and then cook dinner shower bed so yeah this is the skin i also need to get some clothes oh because he's going to go straight from He's going to go straight from the house to the gym tonight, so I need to get him some clothes, so let's do that. Thank you. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah, I like that one. I should take a photo of everything she know. <laughs> That'd be nice in like a holiday home. Mm. I quite like that one. I've just got back from bathroom shopping, Frank's here. And I'm toying with whether to get the Canon, like, is it like the power shot? You know, like the mini, almost looks like a phone. I'm just watching Shannon Mooney's vlog because also, it's this, I've because she has it on now. Sony um, camera, like, how it's like weird this, like, is this? It's like a phone, but it's just And so I'm easy thinking to... for Australia, could that be like really fun to get? Frank! Frankie, come here. No. Sorry, look at the side of me, I just pulled these off. I'm thinking for Australia, would it be really cool to get like easy B-roll content rather than having to take this camera range with me? You know, if I was doing like a day trip somewhere, I don't know. I feel like it just looks easy and I've got the two muffs, so the sound sounds good. I feel like I need to speak to her and ask her like what, what she thinks now, but I'm gonna watch the rest of the vlog to see the footage. But I'm just about to get ready because I'm gonna meet Ol at the house. Bathroom shopping, I got some good inspo, I think, and I think I roughly know what I want-ish. It's just sort of putting it all together, but I'm going to throw a fit on. This was just my outfit today, it's so basic. I just had my Uggs on, but these are Ollie's. I had to tie them so tight, but I, I, I don't look good. This is not giving, I already know. But I'm just going to throw something comfy on and then meet all at the house. So that's what we're going to do. I think I might put these lounge grey legged um, brown leggings on or something the weather is not it like australia could not come quick enough at this point but i think you're gonna live out of storage i need to swap your sd card oh it's here right let me just i'm coming where are you hanging <laughs> what do you want there, this black bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have to just pass it me here. <laughs> what the fuck? You just <laughs> hung out the ceiling. Ah! Sorry. Could have told me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and eat. Okay guys, we're back. It's not actually that late. It's like, I think I want to say about half six because we got there obviously about half three. We re put in all the seat and um, all the loft because the chimney's going to come down tomorrow. So we had to just repoint a few little bits. Sorry, you're a bit dusty. And then there was just a little bit to do. We also measured the bathroom so I can actually plan the bathroom a little bit more now. I've got like the exact dimensions. So it's dinner time. I've washed my hands obviously. Dirty, filthy, ew. But Ollie's just in the shower. I'm going to cook dinner and then I'm just going to have a shower afterwards. But I got all like mortar all in my hair. That's exactly why you don't wash your hair while you're doing a house renovation. Like it's all... I managed to pick a lot of it out but... Rocks! Frankie! Do you want to see the dog? She's coming. What are you doing? What are you doing? Say hello to YouTube. Say oh my gosh I'm so old now. I'm August, September, October, November, December, January. 
She's so big. She's actually been very poorly this week. Mm, I love her. She just sits on my shoulder like that. <laughs> Frankie, you want to say? Oh, Frankie's gone. She can't stand to see. So anyway, I'm going to do creamy pasta. I'm going to put the chicken probably in the air fryer. And while I'm at the sauce now, I'll just add the chicken. I've actually become a big fan of the air fryer. I got them on the Ninja Max for Christmas. Didn't really know whether I'd use it that much, like, personally. But I've used it so... Ah, ah, I've used it so... No rocks, because I don't want to follow you out. I've actually used it so much more than I thought, like, to do chicken, to do chips. It's been really good. Roxy. Okay. So anyway, let's cook dinner. Oh, I just want to talk about it all of that. Like when I saw them, like the first off their text about like where you get like after seeing them after the Okay guys, this is my dinner. The only thing I've done differently, this is basically the marry me chicken pasta off tiktok but i didn't have the like special cheese i literally just had mozzarella so i didn't put it in the sauce and i've just topped it with mozzarella so it's how the chicken looks i did it in the air fryer and i literally just put it in for 20 minutes i turn it halfway but it's so good because it's like juicy but like crispy it's so good and the sauce is really good i'll put the recipe down below i think it's one of my favorite dinners it is friday i feel like this week goes so oh shit, i feel like this week has gone so fast darcy's here darcy say morning good morning i got up i read my book i did some <laughs> did some journaling and got myself ready for the day this is the makeup we're gonna record the podcast today and we're also gonna go and sorry is all the window sitting that is so rude of me it's Still kind of. Is that better? Um, and yeah, we're gonna go and see Mia and do the podcast. But it's a horrible day again, to be fair. But I'm having to wait in until half twelve because we're waiting for a bracket to be delivered to the house tonight. Hopefully, Ollie's gonna like use it <clears throat> tonight. But I don't think it's something that they just leave hence me waiting in so it says the slot was between like half eight and half twelve so i was like a little bit unspecific but yeah we're waiting a couple more hours is that it Darce? no i think that was just a train my hair needs cutting desperately but i thought it would be fun i think that's actually that's actually an airplane i thought it would be fun to do a little walk through of the like decor that i want to do in the house and sort of like talk you guys through what style i think i'm gonna do so i'm just gonna get myself changed and then <clears throat> the, the frogs in the throat honestly are such a problem um yeah i thought it'd be fun we could walk through like my pinterest boards my mood boards my vision boards for the house and you guys could just get a little bit more of a feel for it. i feel like it'll be fun so i'm just gonna get myself dressed and then we can sit and talk about it i mean i guess i could do it in my pajamas you guys don't mind do you i was thinking you know let's be professional but if you go on there okay what i'll do is i'll screen record as i'm talking through so let me just move because that tv in the background is annoying because it's like flickering i have honestly had these pinterest balls i've had the one of them for like since i even was in uni so this is like pushing five six years so that has got so much stuff in but the like closer we've actually got to completion the more like seriously i've took it so they are a little bit more like curated so how the fuck do i screen record on this that's it doodles you go to sleep I'll also show you, I haven't finished it properly, I have been working a little bit more on making the iPad like aesthetic, but it's not, it's not quite that, but I've been working on it. So, Pinterest, also if you guys want to follow me, because I do have a lot of boards, like I make fashion boards, I just make like nice mood boards, I do love myself a Pinterest scroll, scroll. so literally my name is just Jodie May, kiss kiss. So, where should we start? Should we start with like the bathroom? Because of going back from shopping yesterday, I feel like my brain is very. This is just. <laughs> That's it, girl. You snuggle up with your little hippo. 
good girl okay so my vibe for the bathroom i want it to be very like traditionally hotel looks and also i thought before we start good girl i feel like i never really knew like what my style was actually like called like i never like I, I guess you don't really know like until you start looking into it however before we start i feel like the like overarching sort of style that i just have found myself like leaning towards and pinning and then like liking the vibe of is modern organic that's sort of the vibe that i was finding because i found this bathroom and i loved it and it was called like um organic earth and i was like i couldn't and i really loved the vibe of it but I was like, I love the colours, the texture and everything. But then I couldn't like, I was searching constantly like organic earth kitchen or organic um, earth decor. And like not much was really coming up that fit the vibe. And then I just happened to see the word modern organic associated with something. And I was like, oh, I, was like, I feel like that's what I like. So the more I've like found that term, I've found like Instagram pages that I really like, like other women, people who are doing their houses in that style. And like my Pinterest boards have become a little bit more created. So I would I would say that like, don't feel like you have to put yourself in a box. Like, of course, not everything I'm going to buy is going to be like modern organic. But if you feel a little bit lost and you're not finding what like is actually inspiring to you and what you're actually like, I feel like try and find some like, you could find three, four and like you could mix them all together. But I feel like finding the actual term for it is quite useful. So as you can see on my bathroom, I really want that like modern twist but with like the rustic so i want some like antique brass i'll show you the so the original bathroom that i saw that i really 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 loved was this bathroom so with like the darker mirror but like the odd shapes the gold taps the antique brass like um light a little bit of greenery like i love the marble and um, like sink with the wood and then like the clean tiles i feel like that's the vibe that i want to go for for the bathroom i also really like these tiles like the gingham i don't know if i'd ever go for them because i don't know if i'd love them but i definitely want like gold in the bathroom like a big antique light honestly darcy being here come on doodles good girl come here good girl and i'm thinking like a wooden basin that's like the vibe for the bathroom i feel like something like that just something like clean and like hotel -y and traditional i feel like i really want something like that like i love this one i love this style with like the marble and the wood but then like the like the antique like brass lights i just i'm i can't wait to find like the the one that i want i also really like this one so they're all very similar vibes but i think we're going to do part tile and part venetian plastering because ollie trained in venetian plastering in lockdown um, and we always said like, oh, like when we have the house like he can you know put some of that in, around in the house i personally really like it. it's very similar to like lime wash i just love like the texture so that's the bathroom and then the kitchen i feel like is a big one too so i'm just going to scroll through this so you guys can see the vibe if i scroll right to the very bottom let's see what i used to pin because i put this on my home page the other day oh shit <laughs> like if i would i'm so glad now that i actually wait have had to wait to get the house because like when i look at pictures like this i mean i know the decor's cute but like i was always really obsessed with just like white everything and i think it's probably because i didn't like feel confident in what i actually liked so i would just be like i just want white or like just marble or just like very very basic or well, not basic but just like very and like safe and there's nothing wrong with that style like if that is your style then like i love that for you so much and i can appreciate it but like i feel like the more that i've actually had to wait like the more i've discovered this more like darker textured just like i'm like just like a different style so i'm so glad because like when i scroll down the bottom now i'm like i feel like it doesn't have much warmth for me and ollie are such home bodies and like we just want like a warm inviting space so if we like scroll further up i really love like the wooden shelves in the kitchen i really love this kitchen too i don't the only like i would love a dark kitchen in a different life i know that's not super dark but um i don't think that our kitchen is actually like big enough to have that like dark dark vibe i think it needs to be like as not light as possible but it definitely needs to be light i really love this kitchen with like the sage the marble the tiles the wood shelves i definitely like wooden shelves is definitely one that something that i have to have i really love this kitchen as well but again i just feel like it'd suit a bigger kitchen like this 
is goals like i would love that so much but i just don't think we've got enough space to like have that and have it light enough i really love like the little like niches and things like the little and also like my dream is to have this little anthropology honey pot bear honey pot honey yeah honey pot bear i love it so much so i feel like in the kitchen it's going to be like farm housey warm um sage green i think i'm leaning towards on the cabinets with like a cream tile so i'm thinking like um wooden shelves sage green cabinets maybe like even like a marble worktop like just like a slight marble with like gold hardware that's what i'm sort of leaning towards i really love this kitchen i don't know whether we'd ever whether we'd be able to get that like same marble vibe because obviously we are also this is not our forever home like it's going to be a home that we living for a couple years but like it's not going to be somewhere where we are for a substantial amount of time so like it, i'm more excited and more thinking about just having the chance to like experiment and just actually like find what i like and what i don't and just giving myself like the challenge of like design a beautiful home you know so i really like this as well but that's like my sort of vibe for the kitchen and then where should we go oh this house board's quite good to be fair if i just see anything like any side tables anything on pinterest that doesn't necessarily fit into a specific room but that i want to save i just add it to this one so we've got like staircases in here we've got carpet we've just got more like styling and um, like dining room tables just like anything that i've just saw in the moment i thought like oh i just want to keep that and, like color palettes i really like the japandi as well darcy careful of the camera please darling darcy just stands in our window like all the time and sometimes people will come home and darcy watch the camera please good girl people will come home and they'll pull up and she's just staring out the window and it's really funny and like this she's so funny yeah i really like the japandi so that's like the Scan um, scandinavian um yeah i just really love like the greens and the oranges and i feel like i've always been a little bit scared of them but yeah that's what i use this board for like just anything that doesn't necessarily fit into a specific board because i'm not quite there yet but i want to keep hold of i've been adding into this board so living room right my vibe for the living room is going to be we're going to have a log burner we want to have it very cozy like i said we're very like home bodies we're very like love to get cozy like we love to stick the telly on have a cup of tea doodles have a cup of tea and just like get comfortable and cozy so i feel like our our um, living room re needs to really like embody the the coziness the warmth the like the comfortability like just like a warm welcome I, I mean, looking at the board, I don't really know where I'm going to exactly go with the living room. I think this vibe will be more in like the second room. So that will be like the dining room. I'm going to have like a dining room table and I think I'm going to have this like on the other side. But I really like that vibe of like the, the black and um, like almost like vintagey sideboards, the gingham rug. But my living room me find like a picture so i definitely want shelves put in i want a built-in cupboard obviously the log burner i really just want it like super cozy like a big comfy couch like an l-shaped um vibe i've been toying with whether to have like rounded or square shelves i don't know but i really like this vibe maybe with a little bit more like of a comfortable sofa it's just more like a cloud sofa but like with the rattan chair the um I'm talking so much. I just oh, I haven't got a drink, drink left. <clears throat> Dars, would you get me a drink? <laughs> but like I really just like like I really like this vibe with like the wooden table, the darker sofa, like a bit of darker artwork, some like rattan chair, chairs about. I don't know because we haven't got that much space to work with in the living room so it will just be like a work in progress i also really love this vibe like with the the bulk chair and the rattan sideboard and things so yeah the living room i'm still a little bit like off but i feel like that's okay because it's not going to be like i'm probably not going to be able to buy everything at once and have it done like it's definitely going to be a work in progress but like lots of cushions lots of texture big rugs like i like this vibe I feel like this is really nice. So I think we like this vibe, which is nice. So yeah, 
I mean, you guys get the vibes from like what I've been pinning, and I'll just like bring all of these sort of things together. I love this sideboard. Um, I love. Th I think that's the same actually. So yeah, that's the living room really. And then if we go into the bedroom, my vibe for the bedroom is going to be very calm, basic, because I'm going to have like all my wardrobes and clothes and like dressing rooms in the other bedroom. The ward the bedroom doesn't really need anything in i'm literally thinking like really just like calm like for me like a bedroom is somewhere where i want to go to go to sleep like it's not a i'm gonna go under the quilt one thing about darcy she's gonna lie under the quilt and go to sleep you're not gonna wanna go you want some attention don't you um yeah like for me is literally going going to bed and I think now like I'm gonna have a separate space for like me and Ol to like chill together obviously when you're living at your parents house like your bedroom is where you work from where you chill with your boyfriend or your girlfriend and your friends and you know where you sleep where you get ready like it's all of that in one so now I can like have obviously designated spaces for that I'm really excited for the bedroom to just be like sleep like calm I'm gonna have it lime washed paint um I I, oh yeah to be fair you can see it on this one i haven't picked the exact color but i want like a warm um i think it's called like fog i think i've seen i've saved a reel on instagram and she goes through all the different paints like all the different like popular lime wash paints but i just love this picture specifically here minus the paneling i don't think i want paneling i want paneling in the hallway but i don't think i want it in the bedroom but i think i just want it all lime washed a bed big rug like throws maybe a plant but like very 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 basic very calm just like a big rug carpet a nice light a plant like very sort of plain but like warm still for sure like not um not like plain as in boring just like calm like i just want it calm like nice light and like i love this with all the candles and the little bits of artwork so I feel like that's really going to be the vibe for the bedroom. Like I said, like the more I scroll down, the more it's just like, like this doesn't really call me anymore. I feel like this is what Pinterest boards are so good for because you can like scroll back and actually see. Like I love this vibe. I pinned this a while ago, but like with the lime wash there, I like that. Probably with a little bit more like artwork on the walls though, just to like bring it like together so it's not just so like plain. Like I do like this vibe a lot. It's such a big bedroom as well that like I don't know how I'm gonna I don't know how <laughs> I'm gonna fill it but that's the vibe for the bedroom I'm thinking like king size bed I also like to save things like this on my boards you know like with the pillows and they like just tell you how to build up like a nice like pillow display so things like that are fun and um, and then my office Our office is gonna be like an office slash podcast room slash like space for me and all to work to film in again i'm thinking probably like a lime washed vibe with some borg chairs a nice rug i was gonna have it carpeted now i'm thinking do i just have it wood i don't know i'm like in two minds and just i don't know whether to go for like a rug with um a wood with a big rug versus carpet i don't know because i was thinking carpet all the way upstairs but i'm like mm, i don't really know but i love this vibe i also love the idea of having like a green paint on the wall whether I do that, I don't know because it's not the biggest room, but I just love green. Like, I love this. I've pinned it a couple of times with like the big wooden desk, the ball chairs, the rug, the green walls. Like, I love it, but I do also just really love like the lime wash. But definitely a desk like this with like a big, like, coloured, textured rug underneath. And to be fair, I was going to make it a little bit more like male dominated and have this like very coloured fun like kylie jenner style but i i don't know how i feel about it now i feel like i really like this vibe as well for like my vanity i feel like because i wanted ollie to have like a space that was like a bit more like male but to be fair if it was like that i don't i don't know i mean like two minds i feel like i could go either way maybe i could like bring the vibes together and make it a little bit more like modern like bring the big desk in but then like have like modern like aspects around the room that could be quite fun so but that's the sort of overarching vibe because ollie doesn't really like use like a, a desk like that that much um but i did want him to feel like 
you know, if you want to go and play his Xbox in there or something, that it was still like quite male energy. But I don't know. It's going to be like a mix, I think. Just something like good for both of us. And then wardrobe room. I think I'm going to get the... Have you, have you guys seen the new Ikea pack? So they do like a white, a black, and then they have like a beige sort of colour. I don't know what it's exactly called, but if you go on Ikea, you'll know what I mean. It's a really lovely colour. So I think I'm going to have that so it's not just like white wardrobe. So it's a little bit similar to this. I'm going to have like gold hardware. I was in two minds whether to get Ikea packs or whether to get just like old to build me one in. But I think because we're not going to stay there for that long it's probably better off that we just get the ikea packs like it's going to be easier but it's going to be able to be designed better to me like i'm going to be able to just like get all of the the shelves the cupboards the rails and just like have it very designed to me so i feel like that's going to really be my vibe i'm going to have like fun color in there like i love this vibe here with like all the pinks and i feel like it'll be quite nice throughout the seasons to switch it up so maybe in autumn to have more like oranges and reds and then summer to go like pink yellow you know make it really fun but having these like functional things you know for sunglasses for all my shoes to go down and Oh, I've pinned that twice. This is my problem. I just am obsessed with Pinterest so much. I end up pinning the same stuff. But I think I'm also going to have my like vanity in the wardrobe room as well. So I think I'm going to have like my wardrobes and then in front of the window have like a desk with like a mirror. Because um, it will get like the natural sunlight and I feel like it will be really lovely just like girl space. So I'm thinking maybe like something like this. Like I quite like the acrylic dresser with the Borg chair. Um, definitely like a big comfy chair but then I also love going on like see more and see what Pinterest then tries to throw at me but this is a cool vibe I quite like that with the rug the rug would be nice I don't really like the white and black but yeah I feel like it, it's kind of like this the Ikea one it's a little bit more sage greeny but yeah I feel like that is I, obviously I haven't really got specific plans for like the dining room or like all the rooms but I feel like my kitchen and bathroom like I have got a vision I've got a vision for the living room I've got a big vision for the dining room the bedroom and I feel like it'll be so fun like it might not even end up looking like this but right now like that's what I'm enjoying and that's what I'm sort of envisioning happening I hope that gave you guys a little bit more of like a vision of what I'm envisioning for like the end result because I know at the minute we go in there and it's like let me just stop that and it's like oh my god this looks absolutely awful when i took one on yesterday she was like it it looks worse but it's actually better than like the last time she went when we got the keys she's like because you are so much more forward in improving the house so yeah obviously it's going to be like a work in progress for sure hello i was wondering if i could book um a haircut in for next week please um honestly any i was i had my hair cut with lily last time i can't remember what day she works though um so lily will work on wednesday thursday or friday um because we do wednesday please and um, she's got the only appointment she's got on wednesday so nine o'clock one in the morning yeah that's okay and um, what was her name sorry we'll get your book in um jodie jodie may what was her last name jodie may m-a-y just put my hair in guys i've got appointments all next week i've got an lvl on monday i've got hair on wednesday i've got um nails on thursday i'm gonna have a pedicure at some point next week as well so we're all honestly getting booked up for australia i feel like this glow up is going to be so nice like look how long these pieces of hair are when i had them cut in september i had them cut like i think they were like on my ear like they've grown so long like they just can't be styled at this point like it looks like just an actual just piece of your hair it's so long so i'm so excited to have it cut um i've gone back i always go to francesco's and i've gone back to lily who i went to last time and she was really good really nice so i'm excited to have those done and catch up with her so yeah next week's going to be because this is technically going to be last weekly vlog like until australia Because next week I'm going to do like a big like prep with me and then a big pack with me. So you guys aren't missing anything. Um, I'm just going to do it like that because I feel like it'll be fun. Like we can have like all of our appointments together and then we can pack together. So I know you guys love like the holiday pack with me. So that's going to be what's going on next week. So this week is going to be the last week we vlog. That's fucking crazy. Anyway, I'll speak to you guys in a bit.
I always see Molly May rave on about these in her vlogs and like she's meant to be obsessed with them. It's just the Costa, it's like a Costa coffee in a can. But I haven't had a tea or a coffee this morning and I need one, I'm literally falling to sleep. Okay, it smells coffee, like strong. Oh, that's actually really nice. Mmm. Oh, I understand the obsession. I understand it, Molly. Gosh, that's crazy. Oh, it's actually so nice. And it's not even like a vanilla or a caramel. It's actually just so nice. It kind of reminds me of the, you know, like the Starbucks caramel mask in like the carton. Kind of like that, but just like slightly less caramelly. But that's actually really nice for a little coffee on the go. I just picked myself up a little meal deal. I'm not going to show you because guys are just like weird food. And I like, just, people... <laughs> <laughs> to judge food and I just can't all right had so many messages after last week's vlog being like I'm so intrigued like what's your, so what's your sure subway order covered. I had so many messages last week after last week's vlog saying like what's your sub subway order then and I was like I I'm not telling you like I, I physically refuse to say because it's disgusting and if I showed you this meal deal right now right now I'd be unsubscribed like I get it so here's to liking weird food I am gonna go and sit with my mum for a little bit. She's still at my grandma's, but my grandma um, actually is so proud of her. She started volunteering at a charity shop and she does it two days a week and then she does like every other Saturday or something like that. But I'm so, so proud of her. So grandma, if you're watching, I love you. I'm so proud of you. And I just am guys, I'm so proud of her. So my mum's on her own this afternoon. So I'm gonna go and sit with her, have this, and then I'm gonna go to Mia's and do the podcast. So that's really what we're doing. And then because this is gonna be the last weekend before Australia, it's gonna be like, a lot of work at the house to just get us in like a good state to come home to so yeah i'm gonna go and see my mummy and then i'll see you guys in a bit the first wixie's trip of a busy weekend i imagine we i don't know what we're getting but i'm here for the road i'll show you what we get i should have music on in here which is so weird fit check my outfit's actually very cute today I need to have a big catch up with you, but I will. It's currently half eight. We're going to pick up a cost to pick up. And then we're headed to the house. So we've got a busy day and then I'll catch up on everything. to catch you up on sort of what happened over the weekend i honestly ignore the state of me we are pending a holiday glow up at this point like this is not this is not cute but i'm currently sat about to do my skincare and i thought that i would just catch you up so like i said because i don't feel like the rest of the vlog will make sense so i'm just gonna cut in here and just give you a little rundown so on Saturday we had planned to take the chimney breast down and also there was a little bit of a roof repair that needed doing before we went because we were meant to have another roof that a roofer would have to do um, come on the next Saturday to fix it and that little issue needed doing first so Ollie was like yeah no problem like I think I'm gonna be able to do it and I was like okay brilliant he spent so long best in like the whole of Friday night literally like he spent like prepping for it I don't I don't really understand what it was because I had only been up the loft once but it is just like a piece of wood had like moved um but it was like a piece of wood that held quite a lot of weight so obviously like it couldn't just be left 
um, or like we thought it couldn't just be left. So Ollie spent so much time on Friday doing it, so much time on Saturday morning. And then when it actually come to like doing it, it just was like undoable, probably like without like more equipment or more people. Like he just physically couldn't do it on his own. So he was a little bit annoyed because obviously he'd spent so much time like researching it. So he's a bit like, oh, whatever. And he's like, okay, right, let's go on to the chimney breast. And then essentially that also couldn't be caught, brought down because there's like different rules in terms of like whether you need building regulations to pass it as like you can do it or not and we thought that ours was it's something to do with like the width or the depth again like this is me with secondhand information so it probably could be a little bit wrong but that's like the gist of it if it's a certain width you can take it down like no questions asked it also depends whether it's like a party wall luckily all our chimney breasts are just our wall so we wouldn't have to like consult the neighbours or anything so we were like all ollie thought that he was like yeah fine like, it passes but then like when he was actually up in the loft and he got like i guess more of a look at the true look of the chimney he was like yeah no i've got it wrong he's like we we can't take it down um so whether we could with like a structural engineer i don't really understand at this point like, or whether it's just like a no like i don't know whether it's just too structurally involved with the house so essentially we can't take the one down that goes to the kitchen and for me like everyone keeps saying like put the cooker in it and i would if it was symmetrical and like my stepdad did that in his whole in his old house and it did look really nice however it was symmetrical on either side but for us we've got like the door and i don't know it just really threw me off and i was like i don't want it there and the thing was i'd made peace with the fact i couldn't not i couldn't get rid of it so i was like all right with it and then ollie was like no i think we're gonna be able to um, get it down so then i was like oh, brilliant so i've like planned this kitchen in my head and obviously that kitchen can't happen um in the way that i thought so we've got two options we either do keep the chimney breast or we just board across i don't really know because it's such a weird shape like if we don't board it across like not even much of like a countertop's gonna be there. So I don't know like what we're gonna do. We need to look at some more kitchen plans to be fair and sort of decide. But what I do know is, what skincare should I do this morning? I think I'm gonna go in with this. I love this, the Laneige Water Bank range. And um, this is the Hyaluronic Serum. What I do know is we were so defeated on Saturday. Like we were just like, I was trying to pick the vibes up and I was like, come on, I'll like, let's just do something else. Like, there's plenty of other stuff to do, but he just felt really defeated, I think, and he'd spent so much time like researching it and thinking, like, it's all right, we're gonna get this roof fixed. And then obviously he couldn't, and I think he was just like really annoyed. So he was like, to be honest, I wanna call it a day. It was like mid-afternoon. He was like, We've literally accomplished nothing, like we've been here for so long. He's like, I think I'd rather leave and come back tomorrow with a fresh head. So I was like, okay like, let's do that because there's nothing worse like i feel like this is like such his project and like, he obviously does have to take the lead a little bit and i feel like he probably feels like a, a lot of pressure not that i put pressure on him but he probably does a bit because like, i don't really know what's going on but i do just follow what he sort of tells me to do so with that it's not with life <laughs> don't get that twisted so i uh, yeah we ended up going to be in queue instead and we had like a design appointment but not that we've um, just a disclaimer because a lot of people have been messaging me like i wouldn't go to b and q um like they weren't good their quality is rubbish blah 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 to be honest the main reason of, of us going was to get like a plan of a layout because obviously these are professionals it's a free appointment there's no obligation to go with them um and i would recommend it if you don't know where to start with designing it we're going to do it for the kitchen as well because we just found it really useful and like it, we're not saying that we won't go with them but you're not like tied to go with them but they send you away with like um like your project thing they email you they give you all the price breakdown and it, honestly f on a personal note i thought this was really affordable they said to us at the start like do you have a budget and i just said i don't know so i'm happy to go ahead with designing one and then we'll see we'll see whether it met the budget or not because i was like i don't know like i've never done it before i thought they were really reasonable and also a diff another disclaimer 
um, they obviously didn't have everything that we wanted. Like we were quite limited on wall tiles. I love the floor tiles that we chose. And also we want a part tile, part Venetian, which is kind of like, imagine like, you know, the Artex walls that probably are in a lot of our houses. Like my mom has it from like the 90s. Everyone was obsessed with it. Imagine that, but like cool and plastered and almost like lime wash paint, which I love as well. And I want that upstairs. But because Ollie, well, Ollie did a Venetian plastering course, I'll put some pictures on for reference. He wants to try that out in the bathroom. And I think it will look really cool. Obviously, B&Q couldn't add that to the wall. So it's just a green wall. <laughs> so just bear that in mind. But this is what we came up with. We were in there for about an hour and a half. Um, but that's like the overall layer. Again, like the shower screen. They didn't have a gold... Um, slider one that only had like a gold wet room which we wouldn't be able to have because it wouldn't we physically wouldn't fit out the side of it but just to sort of like get the vibe that is how it turned out and I really like it with the freestanding bath and we've also got rid of the cupboard which you guys will see in the vlog because so I give you a walk through um, but with the curtain rail like I love the sink everything I was really really impressed like I said we were in there for about an hour we had a lovely girl like she wasn't overly pushy she was just like nice like she gave us advice where maybe we were inexperienced like she obviously does this for a job but then she also was like it's your bathroom like you know I'm not just gonna say no you can't have that she was like but you know I do see a lot of this so um she also gave us like, all of our measurements on that obviously they will change a little bit now the cupboard's gone but like the overall I just felt good coming away thinking yeah like the bathroom that I imagined works and it looks really nice and there's enough walkway and there's enough room between things and i really liked a lot of their range like i loved their toilet and and vanity unit because they matched i loved their bath i loved their shower head i just would need to find like a different shower screen and then different wall tiles but everything else and for reference i'm just gonna so that was for the bathroom mirror which again like we wouldn't have to get from being q i could get from anywhere but that's a bathroom mirror the freestanding bath the toilet cabinet the towel rail i think that is the shower waist i don't know what that is um the shower tray the shower head the panel the walking shower panel was took off i think that was 280 pound um so we can say something around that for that then we've got the vanity um and then we've got the bathroom cabinet and then we've got all the wall tiles and all the floor tiles and that come to 2700 and then ollie would get a 10 percent discount if we went with being cute because he's a charity so it, it comes to like 2400 so for all the tiles and all of that i was to be honest really impressed and we tried to find a different freestanding bath online because we were just curious um, afterwards and being was actually the only one that did that specific one and we couldn't find one that was comparable in size and look that we liked for anything under a thousand pound and theirs was 600 so i was really impressed so i don't um like i i don't have any plans our main reason oh, so this is what they also send you home with so they send you home with like actual pictures of it and obviously via email as well but it was really really interesting i definitely advise you guys if you just feel overwhelmed with it like we did to actually go in and um, but i loved it like i loved the vibe so i know that i didn't like the tiles because they were a little bit like gray but i think the tiles that i saw last week at the well that week for you guys was like yesterday or something the tiles that i saw in there if I put them in but I love the floor tiles so I, I think I might even get them um but no it's like like being can honestly say anyway on with the rest of the vlog I just wanted to give you that little update to make context of what was happening Um, we have a really fun day I think the next you're going to see is Monday and we have like a big Monday reset I'll take you to the house give you a walk through um yeah so slightly being cute I just wanted to give you a little update and bad things will happen like things will crop up but you know what it's a new week we made it through good morning guys right it's monday i'm so sorry that i was so absent over the weekend but honestly if you have like renovated you will just know that like the weekends are so precious and they're so like busy and messy and like hectic and you feel like you're trying to do so much and i just feel like on the weekend like like mondays are truly gonna have to really become like my reset days where i just like do 
like everything that I haven't been able to do over the weekend. So it's currently half past eight. I'm about to go to the gym. I didn't realize that it was like so cold because it's like a really gorgeous sunny day. The sun rose at like, half past seven. And like, even at like seven, it wasn't dark. It was so nice. And it's just so much easier to get out of bed. I'm just so excited. And I feel like this is such an exciting week. I mean, my wintergreen's frozen. So it's still kind of even winter, but we've got the heater on. Um, but this currently just explains my life like my car is full of plasterboard that i'm gonna have to take today i wanted to do it this morning however it doesn't open till nine and i want to go to the gym because i've got all my australia appointments starting from today i've literally got them all week so i'll give you like a proper rundown of everything that went down this weekend when i'm home but i'm hoping this doesn't take too long okay, so um, but I just want to say good morning basically I feel like it's such a gorgeous like it's blue sky like the sun is shining and I just come out the house and I was like yes I was like come on I was like this is gonna be such a good week I can't believe that we go to Australia this week like where the hell did that come from I'm so unprepared for it but I feel like I've got like an easy week ahead of me like I've got five days where I can just get everything done like it's nothing crazy that I need to do but I just feel like I just can't believe I'm going so happy monday happy lovely week i hope you guys are all okay and i yeah just had a crazy weekend so i'll fill you in on it all but i am just feeling grateful this one i'm feeling excited i'm feeling just like motivated again i feel like the dark mornings just really are not my thing i like the cold but i mean it's one degree but the sun was shining so i feel i feel okay so yeah we're gonna go to the gym and then i've got an appointment this morning we need to get rid of all this plasterboard and then the rest of the day is just gonna be like errand running to be honest i need to scrub my tan off because it looks so awfully bad and yeah just sort of get back organized and then we've got a busy week ahead so i think i'm gonna do like a prep with me for holiday and then a pack with me for holiday and like i'll share with you all my appointments so that'll be on the channel and then i'm just thinking like i tried to brainstorm a bit in bed last night of like australia content that you guys will want to see obviously i'll be very real time on instagram and tiktok but i'm thinking like youtube of doing just like weekly vlogs like just like weekly travel vlogs so i can just share with you everything we're doing that week so like, it will still like be long content it'll just be different we won't be in england because we'll be in australia and then like i'm thinking some like airport vlogs like travel to australia with us and stuff so yeah i'm excited and then if there's any cool i mean i've obviously never been to australia and i also don't know how many of you guys are australian i know there's a few but i don't i don't really know like the percentages um but if you are australian or you're living in australia or you've been to australia tell me like the must do's like is there any like cool shops like what's your what's your version of b&m like i'm sure there's target but i don't think there's like everywhere i have looked and i think there was like one in melbourne that come up but i don't know if like that's the thing like i need to know the shops like what do i need to do and um, like fun for the vlogs for you guys or is there any, like any brands that you have just always been like dying to try and like i'll try them while i'm over there so just tell me everything i want to know but we're going to head to the gym we're going to do a leg session and then we're going to pretty much go straight to our appointment so this could really do with fastening up breeze i it's so like bright and sunny today it's crazy so hence why i've got the sunglasses on but i went to the tip i'm like crashing because i had a coffee at like six o'clock this morning it's now half 12 and i feel like i've worked out i've not eaten anything and i'm really starting to crash and i feel like i could just take a nap in the car um i've just wrote one sec <coughs> bless me bless me bless me i hate sneezing i have just wrote my shopping list 
else I need to go in and do, but honestly, I'm just hungry. I'm trying to think what food I can get to eat. So I think my meals for the week are going to be lasagna, creamy pasta as always, burger bowls. Because I saw them on someone on Instagram yesterday and they just really spoke to me. I think I'm going to make them tonight. So essentially, imagine like a burger, but completely deconstructed so it's going to be like mint burger cheese gherkins like everything you'd want on a burger but just in a bowl i'm going to do like big potatoes like crispy in the air fryer do some halloumi on the side i thought that would be nice and then i'm going to do creamy garlic chicken which is kind of like the marry me chicken but it's garlic instead of paprika i used to do it a lot before i discovered like the paprika version so i'm going to do that with some green beans and broccoli so here's my little food list and also something Oh, wait that's rude something else for lunch so yeah i need to go and do it but honestly oh i mean i'm so glad that i got up with all because i got like i've done so much for it only being half past 12 but i'm so tired and oh but i disposed of all the plasterboard which might not seem a big deal but if you know anything about like waste and i guess i know this because ollie's a plasterer but getting rid of plasterboard is actually quite hard um they're quite like strict about it like our tip in canuck you I like the tip that we normally go to like it's literally there behind sainsbury's they charge you for plasterboard and it it would total up like it would probably cost us a couple hundred quid but at that tip that i just went to which is like the other local tip you can get rid of it for free up to eight bags but obviously it was just loose in the car so i was like i can't really tell you how many bags i've got and they were like it's fine like just get rid of what's in your car so i was like slay so i was really happy with that because that saved us a lot saved us a lot of money because you can't even put plasterboard in a tip in a skip they like won't accept it so we love that but the skip got delivered to the house today i'm going to take you guys to the house later on and give you like a walk through of everything we've done and um, because not nothing else is really going to be happening like this side of australia now so it's like a good place to like show you like a mid point of where we are and what where we're at and what we've achieved so let's go and do the food shop and then we'll eat and then we'll get on with the rest of the day i've got little more errands to run i need to go to b&m i need to go to home bargains lots to do today Welcome to my gorgeous aesthetic house. Lol, just joking. <laughs> Why have we got a door but no wall? And you know what the funny thing is? I walked through the door. It feels too like weird to walk through the hole, but you can literally just, if you guys remember, this used to be a wall. It's fully gone now. And my plan is to rebuild it, but the reason why I wanted to take it down was because the door being here, the door doesn't actually like a shit anymore. Um, the door being here now, we would only be able to have like quite a small sofa and I want like quite a big like cosy sofa and it would also be like very off centre with the TV. So by moving the door literally to this joist here, like so we won't, it won't move up much, but it will just move up enough to be able to like give us room to have a really lovely sofa. Anyway. Cheers to it be Monday. I've actually got better snacks here than I have at home. Like Dr. Pepper here, I've got all the nice crisps. Oh, also, have you guys tried these? Oh no. Mm, it's not this, it's not. They're like donuts. They're called like Jaffa Cake Donuts. They're all right, they're not my favorite, but I was just gonna say if you guys tried them, but these are orange chocolate fingers. I've never had those. Um, I was gonna have a bag of crisps, but I think I might wait now. So I thought that I'd give you a walkthrough. Obviously just imagine it without the, the rubbish that's gotta go in the skip. And so I'm gonna have like an hour here. Ollie will be here in about an hour. So I'm just gonna try and get as much as I possibly can get into the tip myself, into the skip, sorry, myself. That's like, I can pick up, it's not too heavy or anything. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I thought I'd give you a little walkthrough to show you the updates that we basically did this weekend. So as you can see, this is one of the biggest ones. The other side of this came out. And like, so the ceilings are so high and I don't know, some people have been telling us to just like knock it out completely. And it does really open up the room. My only thought is the sofa can still only go here because of the porch. So I'm like, are we really gaining anything other than it feeling bigger but like i'm not bothered about it feeling like big like i want it to feel cozy so i don't know i don't know whether i don't know i'm like i'm happy to rebuild it but then i'm also like should we just leave it down i really don't know i'm like a bit like mm. i don't know some people come and they're like you should totally take that down and then i'm like should we i don't know um 
nothing's really changed in here other than it's just become an absolute mess again so let's ignore this but if we walk through to the kitchen i mean ignore the mess so the chimney turns out guys we can't actually take the chimney out i'm gonna i'll like catch you guys up on the actual specifics but we can't take the chimney down so we started taking the plaster off because we want to just bring it there was like really thick plaster um on this side of the door which meant the door was really small so we just like started taking the boards off and it's only opened it up like this much but i think it'll just make the door feel a lot bigger and we're just gonna like make the door taller because ollie can't step through so all the plaster's off in here it was so wet well it, yeah it was just like falling off it didn't even take any real effort you can see where the old door was here so it must have been like extended and um, the door would have been there and then like they had this like old window which i actually think is really cute and the window's really low and really small i don't know why so we're thinking about having a new window because you see how low it is? i mean it's quite hard to explain but like it's quite hard to imagine but really the window should start like here and it starts there so we're thinking about possibly just having a new <laughs> mood having a new window and then it can be like bigger and higher rather than so low so that's pretty much it with the kitchen and then the bathroom wait there we go the bathroom is completely clear and guys it looks so much bigger than i even thought it would the light is just dangling but it looks so big so everything's gone other than the toilet but i accidentally broke that and also that is not poo psa that is just like dust from the work and um, we took the cupboard out which was a bit of like a random decision but now it's out i'm so glad it is because it made it feel so much bigger so we're gonna i'm just standing on the rubble we're gonna centralize the toilet with the window we're probably gonna have a new window in here i don't know like i would ideally would like to but i'm gonna probably price it up and see whether it's worth it or not um but yeah this is the bathroom it's completely clear and then really guys upstairs is very similar this room is going to be the last one to be completed because of this issue there's a bit of damp and um, so that's fine so this room's really just going to be like left until the very very end like literally when we move in but these rooms these two rooms this one this is the update for this it's still really clear it's just got that stuff that needs to just basically be thrown away that suitcase it's just from the cellar um, I doubt that can even go in the skip. I don't know. We we'll just have to throw that away. And then the big bedroom. The loft is open. I wonder it's cold. Our bedroom is again like pretty clear. Like look at the floor. Feels so nice to have clear floor. I've put all this like rubble in here. But I've had a little bit of like I always imagined the bed going here. But the more I'm in here and then have like built in wardrobes and then the TV, which I think would look really nice. But I don't know whether like opening the door, I need to actually measure the bed with like tape to see. So I don't want to like open the door and be like bed, you know. So then I was thinking I don't know whether to maybe have the bed here, like this side. And then I could have some like drawers here, like a cross or something. I don't know. And um, that was just a little idea that I had over the weekend. I feel like I need to measure what a king size bed would be and then like tape it with tape on the floor to actually see. So yeah, actually really nice here now that I feel like not like I'm in someone else's house. I feel like for a while, like I, this is the first time that I've been here on my own for a while, like over a week. And I feel like it feels more like our house now. Like now it's starting to become more empty and there's less signs of the old owners it's starting to feel more like ours and it's really nice um like i don't feel like i felt really scared the first time i was here and i was like any noise i'd be like ah, what was that like really frightened but i don't feel like that now so on to the task look like the michelin man <laughs>